Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Fragile Dreams. Um, in the last installment, we made it through the storage room, through that door, to get to here, and, um... Both of my weapons broke. As it turns out, uh, the merchant will buy your broken weapons for zero, so you might as well just throw them out. I did, after, like, three or four more tries of going in and out of the bonfire, find the merchant, so I bought myself a new bamboo sword, thank god. So, we're back in business. So, this is where we got that uh, mystery item, so let's keep walking. Up some stairs. Oh, this room's open. Oh no, those running little girls. I think. Yes, but where? Aha! Uh, this seems really gang up on you. And they heal, you see that? Ah, uh, there it is. I told you at the end of the last installment you'd be seeing that eventually. Looks like I got one, maybe? Nailed it, and I leveled up. And I got a gigantic mystery item. Okay, worth it. Locked? Well, okay, we hit a dead end, so I'll just run back to the bonfire. I also had sold my um, my three healing items, which took up a total of four blocks, and it's a good thing I did, because that mystery item was gigantic. Also, you'll notice I've seen a three-block mystery item before in the shape of an L. This one is just a horizontal line, so even specific placement of your inventory matters. Oh, I better warm up. Hmm. Mmm, a weapon. For enemies are a little too far to reach. It's a little fragile. Yeah, it hurt. It's it's better than the stick and has a longer range, but it breaks a little more easily. Superior strength, far away. Uh, enemies hold down and release a thrust forward. That's pretty sweet, especially for those dogs. And I can do a spin attack even. Cool. Alright, well now we can move on. There's only one other way to go. Works for me. And by one other way to go, I mean two, because there's a downward escalator. And I mean three. Uh, I'll deal with that later. First. Oh, both of these have really dilapidated floor. Um... Hmm. Tilt the control stick very slightly to creep across the floor. Crouching works too. I think I'll just crouch. Screw this. Hopefully I'm able to go at full crouch speed. Okay, we're in. Wait, was there a point to going to the other side? Because I don't see anything. There's just metal shutters. Don't tell me there's no point. That would be disappointing. Is this just nothing? Whoa. Oh! Uh Yeah, it just reloads me, fortunately. But I think it, yeah, it drained a little HP, so you can't just keep doing that with no penalty. Easy does it. If this just leaves me full circle, then I guess I'm gonna go down the escalator, because there's nothing else to do. Oh.
Where's the enemy? Ah. Leveling up is good. Hey, only three hits this time. I like. Very good. Very good. I'm okay with it. And there's a door. Good. So there was a point. So either way, you gotta get around some kind of dilapidated floor. Let's see what we have. No enemies. Too many... Oh, okay, there's the eggs. Interesting. There are two exits. Are there seriously no items in any of these? So which which exit do I take? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> nice and easy. This is a dead end. Okay. Boiler room. Dogs? Two dogs. Hey, I can three shot him now. Good for me. Those dogs love dropping those instant lunches. Oh. Now we're talking. I got a necessary item. Now let's just take a look at that boiler room, huh? And if this ends up being a dead end, which it should because it's a boiler room, then we'll have the downstairs escalators to go to. Or we can just go downstairs now. Yeah, nothing else here. I guess we're good. Unless this opens? That's the boiler room. Yeah. My memory is amazing. Worship it. Respect it. Take that malicious thought entity. Nothing. Oh, ah. Mystery cash. Oh, it's a very cracked floor. Yeah, wow, this floor looks like garbage. Oh, whoa. I have to nudge even while crouching, I think. Jeez. Sorry this takes a while, I got no choice. And by the way, yes, there will be parts like this later in the game, and there are pains in the ass just like this. Fair warning. And when I get to about this point, I'm always tempted to be like, oh, I'll take two steps. And then I screw myself over and have to start all the way from the beginning. That was my finger slipping, by the way. That wasn't me exemplifying my statement. And there's the escalator. Also, you know what? Oh god, yeah. This is bad. I need to definitely get the bonfire before going downstairs. I could even just put my lunchbox away, and if the merchant ever comes, I'll just take it out of my briefcase to sell him. 
Hopefully I'm allowed to do that. And yet, even here, I think I could fall, so I'm really playing it overly cautiously. Okay. Pain in the ass. Oh, <laughs> I was hitting the little block instead of the fire. Silly me. Oh, I better warm up. Hey, could this be... Inventory space. No, you know what? I'll open the old mall, get rid of the key. That'll free up a little bit of space. That's what I'll do. Hopefully I don't screw myself. Alright, Cracked Floor Tutorial is a go. Whoa. Bad. Oh, a new stick. Great. Where's the merchant, please? Don't, don't tell me this is a dead end. Was there a door I could unlock with this key? I'm gonna feel silly real soon. I mean, the, the stick was a great addition to my inventory, but yeah. Huh. Is there... Ah, fumbling around my thumb here. Checking the map. <laughs> Stridge, my, my handwriting and spelling are not very good. Oh, locked. Okay, presumably that's me by the the bonfire. Oh no. Oh, I have to cross the... Ugh, I have to go back across the extra dangerous... F no, you know what? Screw that. I'm not going to go back across the extra dangerous floor. I'll just cross the regular dangerous floor twice. I'll be much happier with that option, I think. Less stressful, you know? Almost there. Oh wait, I was a fool. I'm a, I'm a total idiot. There was one thing I missed. Uh, hitting the wall. Sorry. There was something by the bonfire I think I want. Fortunately, it's never far away. Yeah, see? There are two doors. I think that was, that was my key. Now we're talking. I already got my mission. Here we go. See that? This place appears to be much older than the mall we were just in. And from within, I sense, I sense. What is it? Mm, nothing. Why is this thing being so weird with me, you know? Or rather, from within, I'm picking up hostile readings. Be very careful. All right. Oh, I don't even need to investigate the light the first time. That's so convenient. <sighs> it's soothing watching the flames. Been a while since I say that. Might as well get on that. Especially when the game warns me to be careful. I really would like that merchant, though. Oh, wait a minute. I will go back in one more time, just so I can get rid of that key. 
Uh, am I starting to talk to myself? And you know what? When the merchant comes, I'll just deal with him then. But this is way too blocky. Now I got four spaces open, and it's still not enough if you think about it, but I'll have to suck that up. Okay. Okay, nothing around me. some timing. Bad. Just one block. Even so, I'll, I'll use this opportunity to heal, check the mystery item, and maybe find a merchant. If I'm lucky. Cell phone, it's a relic. Oops, it's already recording. Okay. Um I'm on my way out to say goodbye to this world. I might not make it very far, but even if I only make it one step, so long as time permits me, I want to see this world with my own two eyes. I want to leave proof here that I existed in the world. So there's anybody listening to this, please remember me. Remember that I was alive. How weird. Dang, that was pretty gloomy. I should have left it on a more positive note. I'm almost out of time. Oh, man. Well, then. Mall map? Simple enough, I guess, even though I can't read Japanese for these little things. There's two doors, although I bet this one's useless. It's all warped. Yeah. In we go. So we've seen that that first path is a dead end. Something's coming up. Another dog? Oh god. I'm gonna get jumped. Oh. Good. Alright. Tutorial? Oh no, whatever it is is too big. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How about that? I'd really ultra better take a look at this in my, um, in my bonfire, because I, like, I'm sorry I keep backtracking, but as you can see, my inventory sucks. As I said, I will be able to upgrade it later, but that's later. <sighs> it's soothing watching the flames. Huh? Is this? Oh, cash. If I see a merchant, I'll sell my stick and hold on to my bamboo sword and my butterfly net. I always want to have at least two weapons on hand. 
and my lunchbox. So second branch is a go. So now we have, this looks like a dead end because it's that big line. Please hurry. I am nearing the limit of my functional capacity. Okay. Functional capacity? For now. Well, for now I am all right. Now hurry. Uh, okay. A little unsettling. Also, that seems to be the way to go after all. So what's over here? Oh boy. This area just keeps going. God. Yeah. Ha! But again, I can't register it as cash until I hit a bonfire. Nice. I don't know, you think I should just go to that... that... area with the scene? Or should I move on... here? I don't know, I'm a little concerned. Maybe, maybe I better just check this out. The other area is so big that I'm sure I'll have to go there anyway. Oops. Oh man, come on. Really brief? Well, okay. I mean, I could just pass right through the room, but I want these things dead, you know? I'm good at this game, you guys. Good. Okay, I can really use that bonfire now. My inventory is maxed. Oh, not maxed yet. Forgot about the healing things they give you. Oh, not these. Oh, good. I can I can three-hit combo them now. This is really good. Uh, you see why I hate these things? That little kick just totally knocks me on my ass. Gotcha. Also, I love how the map shows me there's a bonfire ahead, even when I haven't been in the room yet. That's quite useful, actually. Ah. <sighs> this is a good opportunity to unload. Ah, <sighs> this is so soothing. Nice surprise. Yay. All right, seriously, I want that merchant. This is driving me crazy. There's nothing around me. I want the merchant, please. I'll sell my dumb stick. I'm tired. Uh. All right. Moving on. Well, it's a dead end, so at least this is the only way I could go. That ladder ahead should return us to the surface. Mm. But it's too bad we never found that girl down here. I... I suppose I was not of much assistance to you then. You found what? weird keys. Come on. Come on, don't say that. Really, you were a huge help. A lifesaver. Well, if you really mean that, then I am relieved. Hey, 
What's the matter? Warning. Battery low. Oh, that sucks. Huh? Wait, what battery? Warning. Battery low. What's happening? What should I do? Warning. Battery low. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Tell me! Battery has been depleted. It seems that our journey together must come to an end here. I am terribly sorry. Please, forgive me. But why? <laughs> this time, please don't speak. Let me talk. You know, I always love talking more than anything. Unfortunately, the battery I run on has become completely depleted. This will be our last conversation. If you had not come along when you did, I would have malfunctioned in that decrepit station all alone. Our time together may have been short, but I'm glad I got to spend it with you. Oh no, I have only 37 seconds left until complete termination of operation. There is still so much I wish to talk to you about. But you must let me tell you one last thing. When all is said and done, I am glad to have met you. Seeing the dawn together and those unusual drawings. Oh, and your name. I never asked you what your name is. Thank you. Seto. My name is Seto. dream that a familiar voice was calling me as I walked along it spoke to me sometimes worried sometimes happy we watched the red sky full of clouds caught up in the summer wind The little time we spent together shone brilliantly like a light in those darkened days of the past. I know that no matter how badly I wish to see you again, that can never be. Those who live must continue to live. Those who are dead will only continue to stay dead in the cold, hard earth. That is a brutal ending to a sort of chapter in this game, isn't it? And you'll notice we put the screw in our locket. 
that is something we only do with the particularly important items. Not that I, if I remember correctly, I don't know if you use them in the game, but they're like personal relics. Also, yes, this is ladder climbing speed. Also, yes, some ladders in this game are freaking gigantic. Hmm. Now there's some imagery. Surprisingly, I'm not... I wonder. It actually is going to let me go back down if I want. That's pretty interesting. If memory serves, I don't think there's ever a reason to do that. Well, well, what do we have here? What do you think you're doing in a place like this? Huh? Who are you? Come on, didn't your mom teach you any manners? You first. You alive? It's Seto. Seto, huh? And what kind of a name is that? Damn, this guy's slick. Anyway, you can call me Crow. C-R-O-W. Uh, sure, Crow. Don't act like we're friends. What? But... I said, don't act like you know me. Listen up. I'm the one who's gonna be asking the questions around here. You just answer, is that clear? Yes. Where are you from? Um... Pretty far to the west. Of... What are you doing here, huh? What a dick. Uh, well, it's just that I thought I might be able to find more people if I came. You mean more humans? As in, you're human? Hmm? Yeah. You traveling alone? I used to live with this old man. But now, he's dead, so... So now you're on your own. Well, this guy's physical. He's real. Uh. And you came here to find survivors. Is that it? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Typical human. This is a pretty trinket. Looks valuable, too. Hey, that belonged to Grandpa. Give it back to me. Oh, give me a break. You mean some old dead guy? It'd be better off with me anyway. It's special to me. Give it back. Oh. <laughs> if you want this thing so bad, you'll have to catch me to get it. Damn. I would say happily, but this guy looks like he's really hard to catch. Also, even though I haven't played any of the games, that guy's general look, maybe just the cap, reminded me of one of the Shin Megami Tensei games. I couldn't even tell you which one. Not Persona, I don't think. I, I don't freaking know. Also, also, he's referring to me as human as though he's not one. Like, I mean, I guess he's got those cat eyes and fangs, but like... What are you? Do cat people exist in this game? Mm. More on that later, I guess. In the meantime, I need to... Uh, save. This guy's an asshole, though. Uh, so comfy. I definitely want that trinket back now that I've wow, just put cool. freaking the screw in there. Oh. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, the best! 
Feel free to ask should you ever have any need for my services. Yeah, buddy. I can hold more stuff now. This is the best thing. Also, I forgot about one little feature I could do with this. Look how useful that is. I can zoom out. Anyway, let's sell that instant lunch. Quick cash, you know. I don't think there's anything... Ooh. Stick. Oh, look at my bag. This is amazing. This... Yes. Look at all that. Can I buy anything? Sword, net, cat toy, healing it. I don't care, so I'm good. Have a nice day! I look forward to our next meeting. Damn. Oh well. Okay. Well, now that we've made it to, uh... A new area in the game. Guess it's time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We finished the underground mall, and unfortunately, we lost our traveling companion. Despite it being synthetic, it had a personality, and it really grew on me. It's one of those things where, even if it were a completely mute inanimate object, just sticking with you for a long time has you sort of grow an attachment to it. And this thing could have been alive. It wasn't too far from it regarding how it was talking to us and everything, even having a sense of humor. It's a damn shame to see it go. In a sense, it died, considering that a battery was uh, depleted. And if we even knew what a battery was, I don't think we'd be able to find one. The personal frame is out of the game, and we are truly alone again. We're still looking for that silver-haired girl, but it seems that we found another person. A survivor? This guy Crow, aside from being a dick, seems to refer to humans as something other than what he is. He certainly jumps higher than a normal human, I'll give you that. Very unfortunately, he stole our locket, which has personal effects inside, including the, uh, the screw, unless that was what fell out when he took it. But even so, we gotta get that back. Not to mention this person's alive, so... Maybe there's more to him than just being a dick. You never know. I mean, normally I wouldn't say this in a game, you know, oh, get to know him. But when you might be the only people left on Earth, you'd better at least try. Until next time, everyone.